Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java list interface with the help of examples so guys in java the list interface is an ordered collection that allows us to store and access the elements sequentially so guys basically we can have the list of elements being stored in the list interface of java program so guys it extends the collection interface so basically collection is the super class or we can say the parent interface which is being extended by the list interface over here so whatever methods that are present in the collection interface will also be present in the list interface now guys as you must be knowing that any interfaces they cannot have any objects of their own so basically we can have the classes that implement the list so basically since list is an interface we cannot create objects from it in order to use the functionalities of the list we can use these classes which are provided over here that is array list linked list vector and stack so guys what we are going to see in this video is we are going to take one of the classes that is array list and we are going to check the different methods that is add add all and then get remove remove all and there are multiple methods that you can use that we are going to check with the help of examples so guys let us move to id and over here i'll remove the previous lines of code over here now in order to define a list we provide the list interface over here so we have the list over here as you can see so we will use this interface that is present in the java.util.list package and over here inside this open and close angled brackets we are supposed to have the data type over here so let's say we have the string as the data type that we are going to provide in the list so guys over here we can have the object name as my list and over here after equal to operator we are going to have new operator followed by array list that's because we are going to use this class name as an example so we have array list over here so as you can see it takes array list and then we can have the semicolon now guys this list is empty right now that's because we have not added any element so let me just print this list quickly so we can have print statement over here followed by list content is and then we can have plus and then the name of the object that is my list so it is just going to print the elements that are present in the my list let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see list content is and then it is showing empty open and close brackets that's because we have not added anything inside this list now guys what is the way in order to add the elements inside the list we have the add method so over here it says adds an element to a list so over here what we are supposed to do is we can have my list object over here so we use this object followed by dot and then followed by add method so as you can see we are having different add methods over here one is just taking the string the second is taking one index that is the first parameter and the second parameter will be the element so we can also add the element in between the list as well so that also we will check with the help of example the very first thing what i am going to do is add a simple string that is programming so we have programming over here as one of the strings now let me just put a semicolon over here let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see list content is only one element is present that is programming let us add more elements now so i'll just copy this and paste this over here i'll just provide the name of this youtube channel that is programming for and then beginners as the separate strings in all the list elements let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see list content is the very first element is programming that we added over here then for and then beginners so as you can notice over here it is a sequence of elements of this particular data type that we have provided over here we can also have other data types such as integers or double or else we can also have some custom class that is user defined class and have its objects being added to this particular list object that we define guys you must have noticed that whenever we are adding the elements it is getting added to the end of the list so that is the very first element is programming then we have for and then we have beginners so let's say we want to add youtube over here after for element so after for and before beginners we want to add the youtube so over here we can have my list 
So we have my list over here. And in this case, we can use the add, but we can have the two parameters over here. The first parameter takes the index, which will tell the control flow to add that particular string element on this particular index. So I have selected this method over here. So the index element will be zero, one, and then at the second position. So I'll just put two over here. And then let's say I put YouTube over here. So we have YouTube. Let me just save this file and try running this code now. So as you can see programming for and then YouTube is inserted over here when we created mylist.add with this two parameter wherein the index was two over here and the element was YouTube over here. And guys in this way you can use the add methods in order to add the elements. Now guys let us move to other method. We have add all which will help us in order to add all the elements in a particular list to another list. So let's say we have another list over here. So I'll just copy this line of code over here that is initial the list and over here I will have my list one and then guys what we will do is we will use this my list one over here that is my list one dot we will use add all so this add all it will take another collection so this collection can be this particular list that is my list so I'll just copy this and paste this over here and then we have a semicolon and then guys what we can do is we can just copy paste this print statement over here and I'll put list one content is my list one let me just save this file and try running this code now so both should have the same content as you can see list one content is programming for youtube and then beginners so guys what happened over here is all the elements from this my list was copied to my list one using this add all method and in this way you can easily copy all the elements of a particular list to another list as well using this add all method. Now let us move to another method that is get. So this helps to randomly access elements from the list. So basically guys if you don't want to read all the elements one by one you can use the get method as well. So what I'm going to do is I'll just remove this line of code over here and I will change this string to let's say we have second element. So we have second element of list is so I want to get the second element of the list. So this is the first element which is at the index 0 and this is the second element that is at the index 1. So we want the element that is present at the index 1. So what we can do over here is my list dot we can use the get method and get method will take one parameter that is the index. So I'll just select this and I'll provide the index as 1 since it is 0th based index. So I'll just save this file and try running this code now. So as you can see second element of list is 4. In similar way we can get the other elements as well. So let's say I want to get the third element which will correspond to this beginners element over here. Let me just save this file and try running this code now. So as you can see second element of list is beginners over here. Now let us move to another method. Let's say we have remove. So it removes an element from the list. So basically let's say I want to remove this YouTube element over here. So what I will do is first I have added this. Now I want to remove. So my list. So we can have my list dot remove over here and then it can either use the index or else it can also use the object as well. So I'll use the index and the index of YouTube is 2 over here. So I'll just provide 2 and then I'll just change this line over here as list content is. Since I want the entire list to be printed so that we will come to know that a particular element has been removed from the list. So I'll just change it back to my list over here. Let me just save this file now. I have forgotten a semicolon over here. Let me just save this file and try running this code. So as you can see list content is programming for beginners and then YouTube was added but now YouTube is removed. So guys in order to confirm whether actually YouTube was added or not I'll just remove this line of code and I'll paste this over here so that we will first copy the content of the entire list and then we will remove one element and let's say we want to again print the entire list over here second time. So I'll just save this file and try running this code. So as you can see list content is programming for YouTube beginners. So all these four elements were added by using these lines of code and then we printed this list content by using this line of code and then we had dot remove method and we removed the YouTube that is at the second index. So as you can see programming for and then we are having beginners. So there is no YouTube element over here and in this way we can remove the element. Now guys moving to another method this remove all will remove all the elements from list. So this you can try from your own side as a homework for you. 
apart from this guys you can have multiple more methods so if we use this object that is my list and then when we provide dot as you can see we are having add then we are having clear as well which will just clear all the elements so it will make the list empty and then we also have contains which will check whether a particular element is present in a list or not and there are multiple more methods which you can use based on your requirements please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk talk about is java array list versus array with the help of examples so stay tuned